culture. A fast speaking woman, she is also a fast dancing wooly master, a wave of word energy, the author of over 40 books, a poetic comet blazing syllabic fire across the sky. Born in 1945, she was just a bit too young to be a beat, but her heart was beat. And her poetry is pure Whitman, Ginsburg, Kerouac, Burroughs, Sappho, Maria Sabina, and Charles Olson. She's belonged to the New York School and the Outriders Project. She has practiced Tibetan Buddhism and anti-war activism. She has directed the St. Mark's Church Poetry Project in New York, and she has founded, with Allen Ginsberg, the Jack Kerouac School of Disembodied Poetics, the coolest name for a school ever, at the Naropa Institute in Boulder, Colorado. She is a woman bard and a living archive and one of the most important writers of the last 50 years. I will say more tomorrow night before the keynote, but for now I will leave you with a few lines of poetry by Ed Sanders that Anne quotes in her 20th anniversary edition of Fast Speaking Woman when she discusses oral poetry or performance poetry, the kind of incantatory poetry that is sung, spoken out loud and that Anne Waldman has made her unique poetic niche. The time of Perf Po is now. The time of Perf Po is now. How beautiful is the unification of word and melody, throb and vision, sky and thrill, perf and joy in the four-dimensional poem zone. I hunger for thee, O oh perf po, and the time for perf po is now. Let us welcome Anne Waldman. of the folk here who are presenting these days. It's been really enjoyable and uh, wonderful to be thinking over those times and how they reflect now. And uh, tonight I want to read a selection of pieces more recent. It's very hard to go back to this, some of the 60s poetry. I'm going to reference a few things tomorrow. But uh, it was such an important time, uh, the 60s, with all the activity going on. I grew up on McDougal Street in Greenwich Village. I um, was part of a kind of community as a teenager in those streets. Uh, saw Gregory Corso when I was probably 12 years old down the block. Uh, met Alan fairly early on at the Berkeley Poetry Conference and Olson, of course, Robert Duncan and others. Took a vow to poetry. I wanted to exist in this conversation, in this sacre conversazione, in the sacred conversation that they have in heaven, in the, uh, in the great beyond. And, um, and that led to, I was still, in, I think, in school. I had to finish school. I had to uh, move beyond the kind of more formal education of the official poetry culture coming out of the UK and other places that are is very powerful and very important to me as well, but I was getting very interested in Asian forms and more circular kinds of patterns, the wonderful raga and the alap of the raga where you play with, um, you introduce themes and then you improvise around those. I was studying Indian singing at one point, uh, early trips uh, by the 70, early 70s to India and South America, inspired by the Yahe letters of Ginsburg and Burroughs. Um, Alan telling me, keep writing long poems, you know, be, sustain these pieces, use, work with your voice, um, and other kinds of uh, advice along the way. And also felt very much indebted to my Dharma sisters, Diane De Prima, Joanne Kiger, and the wonderful experience of going out to San Francisco that summer of 65. So a lot of the percolation began a little bit earlier in terms of um, those important moments. And then by the early 70s, we were talking about this Kerouac school at the um, renowned controversial Naropa University founded on the spine of the North American Constitution continent going clear up to Canada and down south uh, to below those borders um, and the great 
honor of working very closely with Allen Ginsberg and traveling with him and uh, feeling very much a kind of transmission, just watching him be in the world. And as a child, I always wanted to be some kind of ambassador. So that was a very fortuitous gathering. So things that were coming up, I mean, all the struggles with feminism, civil rights, um, uh, entheogens, Buddhist dharma, dharma practice. I met the uh, first Lama when I was probably 16 and also visited some Zen centers, that sort of thing. So I wanted to select things, more recent things, that related to that those early um, zaps from the phenomenal world and beyond. And I'm going to just open with a Antonin Artaud quote. This is from circa 1945 in France. He's looking at all of the, the uh, in Europe, other parts of Europe, looking at all the wreckage of World War II. And I feel this more and more. We are not yet born. We are not yet in the world. There is not yet a world. Things have not been made. The reason for being has not yet been found. So it's a work in progress. And I am feel blessed to be a, a seeker in that, and also so great to be here with Ed, and I quote him in this opening piece, which is called Questions for Citizens. It's an ongoing open system, inspired in part by a close friend, Amiel Akalai, who's a translator and poet, and uh, runs this very important program at CUNY in New York, City University, where he does a series called The Lost and Found. Um, I call them Raiders of the Lost Art, you know, finding texts that have been buried, uh, going in, he's done some things from Naropa, he's done wonderful pieces by Diane de Prima from various classes, and more esoteric things as well. So, questions for citizens under the rubric of investigative poetry, and this is from Ed Sanders, that poetry should again assume responsibility for the description of history. A series of random questions for citizens and poet citizens. When was the Federal Reserve created and by whom? Who was second in command to Jefferson Davis and considered the brains of the Confederacy? What was the primary material factor in British sea domination? What was Ezra Pound right about? How many things don't make sense about the Bering Straits theory of migration? What might that mean? Who funded the Confederacy and why? Do you accept the premises of the Warren Commission? Do you accept the findings of the Warren Commission? Who assassinated Ghassan Kanafani? Where did the assassination take place? Who was Ghassan Kanafani? What was Dewey Canyon Three? Why did the Confederacy have to import hay from north of the Mason-Dixon line? Who assassinated Naji al-Ali? Where did this take place and who was he? What happened in Bengal during World War II? And what does the term false flag mean? Please identify at least two. Do you think buildings came down on 9-11 because airplanes hit them? Do you accept the findings of the 9-11 Commission report? Do you think elements of the US government capable of controlled demolition of buildings on 9-11 or on any other days? Why did U.S. and Kurdish forces provide cover for up to 4,000 people associated with ISIS leaving Raqqa, including fighters and weapons? Do you think this was the case? Do you think elements of the U.S. government capable of creating ISIS? Do you think this was the case? Who assassinated Jean Sanak? Where did this happen? Who was Jean Sanak? Where was Soha Bishara imprisoned? Why was she imprisoned? Who is she? Who kidnapped Mordecai Vanunu? Where did this happen? Who is Mordecai Vanunu? Where was he born? Why do race and gender now seem so high on the US agenda? What does an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth actually mean? What is the origin of this formula? What are we talking about? What is an alphabet of logarithms? What is a primordial black hole? What is a bubble universe? Where are we? Why doesn't the Confederacy die? Who backs it? Why is it getting away with so much this late in the game? Who are the big backers and brokers for the Confederacy? Why is there so much Russia, focus on Russia? Is this a red herring? And why won't Palestine and Israel ever heal? And whose interest is this apartheid? What does the caliphate want? What is the role of the Protestant church in US politics? Why are so many politicians religiously identified? What two countries 
have at, at least 2,300 miles apart were attacked by missiles on the same day by a power 8,000 miles away. How did Barack Obama get elected? Do you think he was allowed to get elected? Does one see fear in former attorney Jeff Sessions' eyes and that aggrandizing sick smile, which is a predatory gesture of the face, the jaw, the mouth related to atavism? I did not declare it so, he said, in answer to a question by Representative Karen Bass of the Black Caucus about Black Lives Matter. Did you see this? What is the modus operandi of Jeff Sessions? ejected of Alabama, where is he now? ICE, whose ads resemble ISIS ads, e.g. we're coming for you, we're coming to kill you, who designs these ads? Why do we borrow this strategy from our perceived enemy? What is poetry struggle in this culture? Do you know what a Heliera is? Do you know how many days you might freeze in a Heliera? Why is the rejection of reaction of white people to their own demographic demise? How far will they go? What is criminalization? What is your personal zero tolerance? What will you not stomach? Who put chlorine in water for immigrant children? Where is the outcry? What is the antithesis reality? What is the BIE movement? Why are there no public intellectuals in the US of A? Are poets susceptible to media control? Where is the spirit of 60s rebellion? What will it take? Why aren't we continuing to have daily protests in this country around white supremacy? What is the poetry community doing about race issues in its own programming? Why is the liberal media so obsessed with the Russia probe? What about unexposed scandals of Vietnam? The operations in Laos like Dewey Canyon too. What is the US karma with North Korea? How many people died in the Korean War, both North and South? What was America's role in the war with Korea? Who knows someone who served in World War II in Korea, in Vietnam? Is there a literary mafia? Who was Judah Benjamin? Mm. Where did your water come from? Gary Snyder once asked me 35 years ago. Do you know, do you think, that black holes materialize out of clouds of dust? What is the axiom dark matter experiment? Do infinite other worlds exist in probability space? What does that mean? What are the Gedanken, Degan, <laughs> Gedanken experiments? Who coined that term? What happened one second after the Big Bang? What is a beauty hadrian, a silicon sensor? Where are we in what collider? What is a decoy project? Why do poets need to hire publicists? Why was Amiri Baraka so vilified for his poem on 9-11? Alleged anti-Semitism? Was he stripped of his laureateship because of that? Denied notable prizes? Who holds power to the secret codes other than the US president? What is the battle between the law enforcement agencies? What is a skiamaki? What are the Bilderberg meetings? What is your personal 100-year plan? Who are the move nine? What does it mean to you to be a citizen? What is the most current case of egregious injustice? What is poetics? Who is Jimmy Gyatso? What does skillful means mean to you? Why is the poetry discourse taking place primarily within academies? What is the origin of the term capitalocene? What are we really doing about climate change? How many weapons are there on the moon? Is anyone here working with we're still in movements? What is the warmest year on record? Why? How many immigrants are in US detention centers on any given day? What are plutonium pits? What are jellyfish babies? I invite you to write your own questions. <laughs> Send them to me. Okay. And this is from a, this is a whole book called Jaguar Harmonics. And I'll just read a little bit towards the end. This is a sort of a, it's called, subtitle is something woven, person woven of tesserae. It comes from a knight on the line and um, inspired again, as I mentioned early, earlier, the Yahe uh, letters, which are not literally letters, they're very, uh, embellished in a way and beautifully edited actually in a, a recent expanded edition. So I'll just jump into a few pages. And is anything central? Can you strive? Can you cure? Are you votive identity? The baby jaguar is blind at first. What are your roots and what are your severances and what do you think, what do they constitute of imagination? 
Can you stalk? Can you heal? Will you climb? What is the link to the link to the link of the trance of the trance of your heat coil? Now you are quick. Soon you will be dead. Ancestor, ancestor, if roots are whirled and you are on the ground barefoot or they are urban and you bend inwardly your concrete sepulcher, will that help you with the ground turning underneath your feet in jungle metaphor? And if the scene changes and suddenly, abruptly, something is riven, imploding rhythm from you, then what? A new planet? What is being relational when you hardly know the kinetics of your own time? It's time, it's time, Sister Susan with your bells and glimmer. Sister Susan, Susan with your bells and glimmer. Tesserae and interruption and interrogation, all incentive tesserae to the fragments you inhabit. Vision to oscillate with my Ginsburg, my burrows is a wave, is a component, signal is frequency, oscillate my untrained ear, cepheid variable star as below, so above, part of this world. With Burroughs, yahe, with Ginsburg, yahe, I sang, a lump little fellow to the curandero sang and sang. Maestro jungle outskirts Pu Kalpa behind the gaswork field, talks about the power of the curing, cooks the universe together, curing. It's a time, time for curing. Talks a lot, the drink, the hold it together, drinking. Night drinking session, power curing, strains the broth. But an outskirt, sincere in drugscape, Ramon comes over to the hut, crooning, a blowing, a fresh batch, and blowing cigarette and pipe smoke over the cup mouth I rose. And Ramon came forth, an old crooner, shooting star, Ariolito, Ariolito, full moon I served up first, breaking over the cup mouth I rose. Cave mouth runs over. Cave mouth runs over. Whole fucking cosmos broke loose around me. Mosquito vomiting, silly to make this a note puff of smoke. Mere death and real death, real death, death, death all covered with snake like a snake seraph. Colored serpents in oriole all around my body and circling. A snake vomits the universe. Ibero with headdress with bangs vomiting up the murder of the universe. Death to come, death to come, a mother to the universe. Spectral animals, all the other drinkers in the night, in the awful solitude of the universe, went back and lay down. Bastante curandero. Heart raid with spectral presences was what I got. All suffering, transfiguration. Who believe in summon here? As there was the great snake, the great stalk of life and death, expecting God knows what snakes be natural in abeyance. Skulking and skulking with a beard on a pallet, on a poncho, on a porch, rolling back and forth. Reproduction of the last physical moon in black hole of God knows over the cup mouth I rose. And stronger and stronger a being lay back on her back. How strong you are, she said. Image, image, how strong, strong, hammock and mosquito net. 35 soles, 150 for services, peer into a mystery, all creation present, colored snakes in real time, real time, mild and simple for asking to be present. Will you stand in or up for me in red and green and blue and yellow and, and yellow and flickering and red and green and blue and flickering yellow and black, black? Of our movie, only image I threw myself over. So real, I so real, real phantom. And not born yet, her totem animal days old, slightly fermented. And what I thought was great mind was false. I felt somewhat like the eyes imaginary. Predator jaguar was the crashing jaguar, and the eye was seen through itself, singing mysterious things. That was our fate and humming, belong, 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 belong. Leave my body to be found in the luminous morning. It's a little bit of Jaguar. And this is a, <coughs> this is called Shen Resig Walks Among Us. 14th Dalai Lama. Chen Rezig is the Tibetan term for the legendary Avalokiteshvara. In Tibetan, it's Chen Rezig, also um, the great Kuan Yin. 
I'm sure you know of. And it is said to em emanate as the uh, Karmapa and other high lamas within this tradition. An etymology of the Tibetan name, Chen Resik, is means I, and Ras, continuity, and gazing, zig, to look. And this gives the meaning of one who always looks down upon all beings with the eye of compassion, who looks down upon sound. And the sound is the cries of sentient beings who need help, crying for release, and is now understood that was the original form of the name, Chen Rezik. And also the origin of Kuan Yin is perceiving sound and cries a translation furthered by the tendency of some Chinese translators, and who perceive, looking down upon sound, those who perceive the world's lamentations. <laughs> so I just need a little sip of water. And there's the story of uh, Chen Rezig, or Avalokiteshvara, looking, you know, cleaning up the world, sweeping out all the suffering from the world, and uh, then looking back and seeing it fill up again. It's like the Zen adage of having to constantly sweep the temple the next day. You can't stop, you have to continue. Can't bur get burned out. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Swept away all suffering, gathered it up, in a quantum leap, sucked it up till it returned. And when he looked back over his shoulder and saw all suffering come back in a great wave, all suffering riding in, filling up nooks and crannies and crevices and templates of the world, all suffering filling neurons and quarks and leptons, troubling minds of fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, all children, lovers, all sentient beings, suffering, suffering, toxins of passion, aggression, ignorance, in the middle of the night, strapped in demon mind, nowhere to hide when all pounding, suffering rides in and mind splits in a thousand pieces. Chen Rezig wept and head split in a thousand pieces and mighty red fire Buddha Amitabha leans in and puts the puzzle back together, wires it with tantric thread, adds some extra arms, extra heads, a conglomeration of tendencies, this wisdom body to rid the world of all suffering. More arms and heads take charge, build it better, a deity to maximize power of body, cheetah to ease all suffering. And now Chen Rezi had a thousand arms in all directions of space with numerous accoutrements and under those arms a thousand hearts better to banish all suffering, suffering of Tibet, India, Pakistan, stateless Rohingya, wherever his crystallized land Wherever a map of suffering, he'll alight on keeping empty Europe, USA empty, Israel, Palestine, China, Russia, Syria, Haiti, Yemen, 11,000 heads with all these third eyes and more wisdom eyes in all the pores of his body. Chen Rezig walks among us, humble prince, tour of systems of empire. He walks among us as all constituent forms, precious ink, diamond scepter, skull cup of blood, thigh bone trumpet, dissolve in mind, and 
Lotus at his feet arises again through cracks of a concrete city on charnel grounds, eternal war. Star flowers shoot at dark of a distant galaxy. Anywhere out of this world, his heart is that big, and Dharma gates are endless. Enter every one of them. Typhoons and famine dissolve, emptiness has formed to come back you to you, blow back his love, his love come back at you. Multiverse moves in the night that never sets. Is it cold out there? Will Tibet be liberated on Judgment Day? And China come to peace and Planet not royal with dystopia and ghosts of hunger and will relight the butter lamp. Gone out, gone out in panic of the dark age. Banish the syndicates of samsara. Put away your texts of doom and turn the wheel again in our frail anthropocene. Chen Rezi walks among us. No identity endures yet. Bodhisattvas are ever active, invisible, else whirling shaman, shape-shifting wizards. Every hour dedicating the merit. No end time here, but aspiration to press harder. Don't tarry, don't tarry, don't tarry. Keep trying to sweep all tougher. We wring away all pockets of the multiverse. Keep thou with mudra, with mantra, with mala bida thought for others. Every mala bida thought for others. Golden thread of enlightening in every step in all directions of space. Push, push against the darkness. Cut out our Cartesian doubt, our quantum dimensions to worry while Dharma bends in all dimensions simultaneously. And extinction is nothing but the extinction of all suffering inside the extinction of self whose form is emptiness and power of compassion, generic walks among a scientist of compassion. Push, push against the darkness. Push, 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 push, push against the darkness. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Push, push, push. and harms, I sit down in ghetto, I sit down in ghetto vecchio. And metal is cast in the dream of the ghetto, and metal is forged for cannons. 1390 and Ur and Pre, a nightmare of ghetto and laboratory of ghetto, a metal mentality, for it takes a long arm, a long arm, a long hatching, this mentality of force, of problem not solving your ghetto. And in the name of decree and forging a metal mentality with harming arms and where you can live under a low ceiling where you can live and problem not solving. 5,000 in a crammed room, undream it now, your nightmare not allowed into the light of other campos and canals, your arms held in, not able to reach out across a map, a city divided and problem not solving. Undream, undream the nightmare of ghetto or problem not solving your nightmare of ghetto. You want to stretch your human fleshly arms outside the walls towards campos and canals. You want to stretch your rare fleshly arms out of here, reach out of here, reach out of harm's way before the dawn until Napoleon allows you can live elsewhere. Oh, please step outside, please step aside, you say to Palestine, you who were in pre-ur, pre-time, ghetto, astride campos and canals. 
You are my problem, I am not your problem, Grazzi, and under Austrian rule, come back inside ghetto in this urn nightmare, 1797, this pre-dawn of state of arsenal, oh, Palestine, oh, way back, Ur Palestine, what of its rip and tears, its tears and weeping, its ghetto, I mark this for you, say this for you, Tears and weeping, carved in stone, in metal of poem time, in scripture of 21st century wind time, and then the dream of a full fledged, full time arsenal. Tears and weeping toward metal. What do we do? What do we have to do? 13 dead again in ghetto Palestine, with the arsenal problem not solving is long range rocket revenge toward Ashkelon. No one heard in Ashkelon, 10 kilometers north of Gaza. Oh, remember, Gaza, 13 dead in Gaza. And I will not do to them what has been done to me. I will not do to them what has been done to me. I will not do to them what has been done to me. What to do, what to do is the merchant stranger, Shakespeare, ghetto merchant, Words the Banco Rosso, real and tangible, or other side hits said rod with grod, rockets from Iran, hit with metal mentality, forged in metal, hit the word said rod, hit the word grod, hit with harm, your problem not solving, scary alliances, four boys between eight and twelve years, dear dead body parts, east of Jabalia, undream the dead, take back the word dead, not a jubilee, and more in Gaza, two thousand in ghetto Gaza, this is the old Ur hell vision of unresolved. Zion, and now the guards and the nightmare that is new century inventory of the state of arsenals and the unsolved now divided Palestine and more divided and more divided building more arsenals in the arms that harm and reach out and harm human and fleshy. I will sit here, I will sit here and sound here and, and reach out arms human and fleshly to ghetto to Gaza. And then this is um, something from this recent trickster feminism, just a few lines. And this is from a piece called Denouement. Patriarchal poetry might be withstood. Patriarchal poetry at peace. Patriarchal poetry of peace. Patriarchal poetry in pieces. Patriarchal poetry in pieces. And the day would be proud of itself going on as if it hadn't already collapsed, had not been destroyed, riven, all the people mad and metabolically downcast. It's around the eyes, they said, it's around the hearts. The city was reeling, people were coming out to the street in the way they wanted to see where the big guy lived and boasted it so as to mock the event. It wasn't over, it wasn't going to rest. The guy was not real as the day, as the year, the century, the epic shared was not real. The tribulation he ensued was not real, but it was that affect that mattered. What would suffer? It was the warmest year on record, as if that wasn't enough to make some citizens pause and pausing resist, and if resisting, insist on being heard and calibrated. So the measures were taken round the clock, ice caps, photograph melting, and all the rest, a pole away from accountability. How ugly would it go? Resistance had to resist, ward off, deflect, exercise, apotropaic experiments to shift tone and danger, apo away, trepin to turn, make the day an amulet. And there were women everywhere across the land, children women and girl women and they women and fluid women and men who were women and boy women and women from the past on the tongues of mind and ear and images of women everywhere, ancestor women out on the streets and everyone woman that day. I am woman, they said, and it had already happened if you stop to think, winning in Maynard heaven, but could earthly heart hold? The day said, I am woman. The day got up and walked this far and paused to take stock. It was the last chance to be observant and cry and stomp and take stock. What worth, if not be accountable? It would be theater, a spectacle, come pay or come lie down in fluid bo bosom of woe, mankind. Remember the kabuki? You saw imitating a resolution between a sword and a fox, a country and its honor, how things and animals become agents of plot and resolve, last straws of honor. Sword resists, now broken on its back. Wild animal comes in peace, new maps, treaties, synapse, and blue of sky, midnight blue was invoked in the shroud that draped the mobster's chair, where he sat timeless, waiting for the play to begin. He was temporarily on pause, a mechanism that played to its own tune of false entitlement, 
fake rhythm, not in tune with the spheres, but kicks in, and we were it, played upon, blink of demon eye oscillating over doomed electorate, and we were becoming shroud of gray, signals collapse of silken worlds now static unravel, will reboot silky damp dark of the labyrinth, going down, maybe one could still supplicate, take back founding myth of Americus, the evil of the feminine. Centuries might wake up to spin our stories of what got built on or what wasn't liable. Male body, how it dominates since 3000 BC in sewer. Tiamat's monsters, blowback, perturbation this time. Traps of appetite, weather and addiction. Rogue nukes, say to remind how the time might go on as a theater of dreams, of signs of this time. This time, the signals, the signals, the signals, the signals, the signals go weirder, and you are on assignment every angle of the street, every minute, every day, avert, deflect, every pilgrim theory is false and unsustainable in inclement weather. In the dream, you stand in front of an ornate gate, but only by dancing does it open. She had been up on Fifth Avenue, mumbling mantras of pacifying, enriching, magnetizing, and destroying as she circles the tower, giving wide birth. Oh, man, be gone. Oh, man, be gone. Gone. Oh, con, con, be gone. Oh, con, con, be gone. She gathers wealth of mind and invokes Black Mariah and No Land and Alistair and Minab and Aileen and witness material richness as she gazes with women's gaze into the holiday windows. It isn't holiday gaze anymore. It is incinerator, dungeon, risk of bludgeon. It is tribulation. It is prelude to tract a please to the Gorgon and her two lionesses mounted on Aegis and shield of Athena to Saint Bridget to exorcism and all heresies of women to Wenet, lady of the hour with raised scepter to great souls. It is the antinomian gaze of the gulag prelude into twilight and irreparability for shimmering crystals, the glimmer edge of baubles and adornment to watch it, her cobra trance. I will write that myself, a reminder to realign the world this time, this time. And... Why don't you read something? Where is it? From marriage a sentence. Tyler, come up for a moment. Marriage, marriage is like you say everything, everything in stereo, stereo, fall, fall on the bed, bed at dawn, dawn, because you work, work all night. Night is an apartment meant to be marriage. Marriage is an apartment meant people, people come in, in, because when you marry, marry, chances are there will be edibles to eat at tables, tables in the house. House will be the apartment, which is night, night. There will be a bed, bed, an extra bed, bed, a clean sheet, sheet or two, two for guests, one extra towel, extra towel. How will you be welcomed? There will be drinks, drinks galore and galore, brought by armies, armies of guests, guests and casks, casks of liquors, liquors and brandies, brandies, elixirs sweet and bitter, bitter, bottle of Merlot, with Stello coffee, will you have someone I offer? When you marry, marry, there will be handsome gifts for the kitchen, kitchen, sometimes two of everything, everything is brand new. When you are married, marry, more sheets and towels arriving, you definitely need a telephone and a cell phone when you are married, two, 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 lines, 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 you need, need, separate electronic mail accounts, electronic mail accounts. When you are married, marry, you have sets of things, more sheets and towels. When you are married, married, you will be responsible when neighbors greet you, greet you. You will smile, smile in unison, or you might say, oh, he is down, she is fine, she is fine, oh, she is just down with a cold, oh, he is consoling a weary traveler just now, arrived from across the plains. She, my husband, is due home soon. He, my wife, is busy at this moment. My husband, he is very, very busy, busy at this moment, moment, this very moment, meant goodbye, goodbye. When you are married, married, sex, sex will happen, happen without delay, delay. You will have a mailbox, a mailbox, and a doorbell, doorbell, bell, bell, ring, ring, it rings, rings again a double time. You do not have to answer. That's sure for when, when you are married, married people, people understand, understand. You do not, not have to answer, answer a doorbell, doorbell, because sex, 
Sex may happen without delay. Delay, you will hear everything twice through your ears and the ears of the other, her or him, as a case. Case may be, be, he and he and she and she, as a case, case may be, be. When you're married, married, you can play, play with your names, names, rename yourself if you like. You can add a name, have a double name with a hyphen if you like. You can open joint accounts when you're married. Marriage, marriage is no guarantee against depression. A shun is no guarantee against anything. Marriage is no guarantee against resolution. Revolution is a tricky word, word. Hear, hear you, hear, hear. Marriage, marriage is sweeter, sweeter than you think. Think. Garden of Love. And I'll sing along. You know the words. Tyler Burba.
William Blake's Garden of Love. I went to the Garden of Love. I saw what I never had seen. A chapel was built in the midst where I used to play on the green. And the gates of the chapel were shut, and thou shalt not writ over the door. So I went to the Garden of Love that many sweet flowers bore, and I saw it was filled with graves and tombstones where flowers should be. And priests in black gowns were walking their rounds and binding with briars my joys and desires. Flower power, we have to get back to the garden. Okay. <clears throat> I went to the garden of love and saw what I never had seen. A chapel was built in the midst where I used to play on the green. And the gates of this chapel were shut, and thou shalt not read over the door. So I turned from the garden of love that so many sweet flowers bore, and I saw it was filled with graves and tombstones where flowers should be, and priests in black gowns were walking their rounds and binding with briars my joys and desires. Tuned by Allen Ginsberg, words by William Blake. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tyler Burba. And on to the next great set of the night. Thank you for being